today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the switch case statement. The switch case is an advanced form of the if statement used to eliminate nested ifs, which can get very confusing. You'll see that in my HTML document, it's very simple. I have an H1 tag that puts a title on my page, and I have an H3 tag with an ID called my day. Since we have a unique ID here, we can actually use that in our JavaScript where we're using document get element by ID my day equals inner HTML date statement. Date statement is a variable that I have created and I initialize it to just a null value, nothing between two quotes, but I set it according to a case statement. And I like a case statement when we're going to get more than two options on an if else, a case statement is eligible. If you're going to have a lot of things, and especially if it's a really simple thing like we're switching on a date, we're going to have a different statement. So if it's case 0 or 6, that's the weekend. When working with the day of the date statement, 0 is Sunday, 1 is Monday, 2 is Wednesday. So we're switching on the value of today is. Now when I let this go wild, I will have it get the day from the date. So we'll start by creating a new date ID, ver d equals new date. And then we're going to have today is d dot get day. So we'll actually get the day from the date statement, from the system date. But I want to be able to test it for every single option. So I've created a variable for today is and I've set it to 6. 6 would be Saturday. And you can see I've already tested that it's the weekend time to program. So we're going to test it for each value just to make sure I don't have any errors because the first time I did this one of these was missing an N and it didn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and test it with each one. So I turn it from live, off and on. I'm in Dreamweaver. I find that this is my easiest program to use for testing because it's very easy just to go out of live view and back into live view and my changes are immediately applied without even saving. So I'm going to test 4 and that's Thursday. I'm going to test 3 Wednesday 2 1 and zero. And remember zero is Sunday. Oops, and I have an error here. So let's see what's happening. I have case zero and this should be case zero or six. And I'm getting the default. No one should ever see this one. I think what I need to do is this. No, it doesn't like that. Let's try it this way. Okay, and I've seen it written both ways. This is what's being approved by my browser. Case 0, case 6, these both give me the same result. Now it's important to go through this switch case statement. It will just drop through and keep going until it hits a break. A break makes it leave the switch case statement. And that's why with the default where we got the error, it said no one should ever see this one, that tells me that we have fallen all the way through of these with, without a match. Now with case 0 and case 6, there's no break statement between these, and there's nothing happening if it's case 0. So case 0 is Sunday, case 6 is Saturday. In either of those cases, it's going to say, it's the weekend, time to program, woohoo because of course we all look forward to programming all weekend long. It's the light of our life. Actually, it's when I have time to work on these videos. So typically I am programming on weekends. So the difference between an if statement and a switch statement is simply that we are replacing the if then else. This could be if today is equals zero or today is equals six, then date statement equals this. Else if, and each one of these could be an else if. So this is a simplified way of writing an, a long nested if statement. 
So we'll switch based on the value of today is. And today is, is a number, so it's going to be 0 through 6, Sunday through Saturday. And then you have a default statement, which really we should only get this in our error testing because we should never get a value from the date that isn't 0 through 6. So I'm going to get rid of my little test code in here because I wanted to make sure that each day of the week worked. And it was a good thing I, that I did because I used the wrong format for using my OR statement here. So I'm going to make it work for today. So I'm going to switch back to live again. And it will stay, it'll say it's the weekend time to program because for me today is Sunday. So that's a nice little function that will let you go through a lot of different options without having to do a bunch of if then statements. But don't forget probably the most important thing here is to have a break in each case statement so it doesn't keep going. If I were to remove the break statement from today's grouping, watch what happens. It goes right into the next one and it would keep going through until it hits a break statement. So you have to have the break statement for it to work properly. So that's your simple demonstration of the switch case statement.